Hi, I'm Larry Maggot of ConnectSafely.org, and this introductory video is going to show you how to use Facebook's new simplified privacy controls. I'll also cover how to limit what the world can see about you, how to opt out of instant personalization, and provide a brief introduction to customizing privacy settings. One of the problems with Facebook's privacy settings were that they were just too complicated. They still give you lots of options if you want to get granular, but now you can set your basic settings on a single, more simplified page. Facebook has also reduced the information that users must make publicly available, and it's made it easier to control information given to applications. There's even a simple way to opt out of all applications. Facebook has decided that there are certain things that are always public, but not as much as used to be the case. Your name does have to be public. Your profile picture has to be public too, but you don't have to have a profile picture if you don't want one. You do have to disclose your gender and any networks you belong to, but you don't have to belong to any networks. You no longer have to disclose the pages that you like. And friends is kind of a special case. You can choose not to display your friends list on your page, but being a friend is a two-way street, and your friends have a choice as to whether to display their friends on their page. So if you're someone's friend, they can display it. And also your friends list can be made available to applications that you put on your page. So if you really don't want anybody to know that someone's your friend, don't friend them. Let's start out with Facebook's new simplified privacy settings page. From any Facebook page, go to account and then select privacy settings. That takes you to the simplified page. And you notice it may already say custom if you've earlier customized your settings and you can leave them the way they are. Or you can select everyone, which is the most inclusive, and I don't recommend that for very many people. That makes your information available to everyone on the internet. Friends of Friends is a little more restrictive. Friends Only is the most restrictive. And Recommended is kind of a compromise, where there's some is on everyone, some is Friends of Friends, and some is Friends Only. So right now, I'm going to apply these settings, and later, we'll see how we can customize it. While you're in the privacy area, check out basic directory information. This is where you configure what the world can see about you within Facebook. So click on View Settings, and notice that you can control who can search for you on Facebook, who can send you friend requests, who can send you messages, and far more. So take a look at all those options. Before I get into some of the other privacy settings, I want to talk a little bit about instant personalization. This is where Facebook works with some of its partner sites, and right now there are only a few, that allows them to access information and content that you've made available to everyone. So they're not extracting private personal information, but information that you've already decided to share with the public. But now it's kind of integrated with other sites. So for example, if you've linked Facebook to your Yelp account, you can share with your Facebook friends and others what restaurants you like. The same might be true with your music tastes on Pandora. Now whether that's a good thing or a bad thing depends on what you want to reveal to the public. But the good news is that there's a way to turn it off. You can get to the instant personalization controls at the bottom of your privacy settings screen by looking where you see applications and websites and then clicking on edit your settings. There's a bunch of options here, but just scroll down to where you see instant personalization and click edit settings. You can then read about all the reasons why Facebook thinks it's a good thing, but at the bottom you'll see where it says enable instant personalization on partner websites. Uncheck it confirm, and its history. While the standard options may be fine for many people, it's easy to customize settings to give you even more control. So click on Customize Settings at the bottom of the privacy screen, and you'll see some other options like Post by Me, Family, Relationships, etc. Each one has a pull-down menu. For example, you could choose Everyone, that's Everyone on the Internet, Friends and Networks, Friends of Friends, or Friends Only. And you can even customize further. So go through all your choices and make sure that everything is to your liking. We've covered some basics, but there's a lot more to explore. So go to the bottom of any Facebook page and click on the word Privacy. That brings you to Facebook's Privacy Guide, where you can find the latest information from the company, including information on any privacy updates. But remember, anything that's digital can be copied, stored, or forwarded anytime in the future. So even if you trust your friends, there's always the possibility that one of your friends could become an ex-friend. So if anything is top secret, you might not want to share it with anyone, because it might someday be found by your grandmother, a future boss, a future love interest, or who knows, 
you might want to run for president someday. I'm Larry Maggot of ConnectSafely.org, where every day we have information on Internet safety, security, and privacy for kids, teens, and sometimes adults. Please join us online at www.connectsafely.org.